What's up? This is Jack Swift from Windows Phone Hacker. I'm just going to do a quick demonstration of the folders for Windows Phone 7 project we've been working on lately. Uh, all this requires right now is a unlock device. You don't even need interrupt unlock. And uh, Mango because it uses secondary tiles pinned to the start screen. So as you can see, the folders are laid out in sort of a neat pattern where it's got a tile with all the applications in the folder on it. And if you get too many applications in a folder, then it'll flip to the back. Uh, to show you what else is in the folder, which is just sort of a nice touch we added in. So it basically works as you would expect it. If you want to open up an application, you just tap on the folder. I've got a list of my applications under my social folder here. And then I just open on, I just tap on the application I want to open, in this case Twitter, and it just opens it right up. Uh, this also, you can also see this over if I have my custom homebrew folder. I've got a list of different homebrew applications in here, and I can open up root tools, for example. Or I can open up my fun folder, which has a whole bunch of different games and kind of uh, cool different things in my fun folder that I might want to have separated out just so they're easy to get to. And uh, that's pretty much it. I mean, it's fully customizable. You have you can choose what you want to put in a folder. There's no limitations based on category or anything. So there you have it. Just sort of a quick look at how the folders for Windows Phone 7 works. Uh, we're currently testing this and we're planning to release it uh, actually very soon. So keep an eye on our Twitter feed and our website uh, for details on that. And uh, if you like the video or like the concept of having folders on your Windows Phone 7 start screen, be sure to uh, give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more cool hacks like this.